We need more cowbell! Alright guys, here we go. This is the uh, completed video of our plum crazy purple truck with a candy apple red frame. My good buddy Adid from California. Him and his wife Navy, they got a brand new beautiful baby daughter just born last week. And uh, he's taking possession of his new flat top today. And you guys have seen the before video, so I want to talk about it a little bit. And uh, we, you, I'll give you a link to the full video. So our goal on this one was to make it as old school as possible right out of the factory. So we went with the tall skinny pipes on this. Old school air cleaners. 12 gauge visor. And I'm gonna talk about the 12 gauge visor here in a minute. So I get a lot of questions on why I'm bringing trucks in without stock visors. But you can see this plum crazy purple in the sunlight. It is a very nice color. If you're a Mopar person. Beautiful color. <laughs> I was at the Dodge dealership the other day and they have a new version of purple. It's like a Hellcat purple or a Hell purple. And that's pretty cool. So now this one here, we did a, a car hauler front end on it and a low, low air leaf back on the back. And then when I get under the hood, I'll show you a couple little things here. But you can see these old school air cleaners with the rain caps. And then Adid wanted to do a simple painted blank on the front with the illuminated lights. This is a new light from uh, that uh, Ben at Chrome Country recommended. And as you can see, even in the bright daylight, how bright they are, uh, they're pretty cool. They really pop. And they have kind of a star, but you can't see the LED diodes underneath them. 22.5 tall rubber, and then we're running the Alcoa Ultras. We did we did turn signals here, so they're going to be amber on the front, red on the back. We did window chops on this one. So let me talk to you really quick about why I've been bringing trucks in because a lot of you guys like these visors that build. I had ordered this with a stock visor then what we would have to do is we'd have to we'd have bare spots on there so when we take the stock mounts off of the visors if you can see just above the visor there you would have a unpainted area of the cap which means we'd have to repaint the roof cap and so if you're gonna go with the 12 gauge or an aftermarket visor like this then uh, that's why I've been bringing them in so that you guys have a better option and it helps keep your cost down okay the other cool little things that we did here if you look around the number 11 you might see something missing uh, we did blind mount hood latches on this from 12 gauge and they're pretty slick once we figured out how to how to mount them it's kind of a coincidence this is mad dog transportation out of california is his company name but mad dog here in our body shop he was he was pretty excited about doing this was one of his more favorite builds that he's done he was exceptionally proud that he got to help Mad Dog do do some custom work. And then we, of course, have our um, Joe with Speedway Graphics provided us with, this is paint. These are not decals. This is all hand done. Did a beautiful job on there. He really brought the color out. I think it uh, accentuates the red frame. We kindly uh, call this truck locally the Joker truck. Uh, just because it's got the old Joker colors from the 80s. Painted tanks, four straps per tank. And then we have the six inch drop panels. Phoenix custom built these for us. 
and just a little bit of extra attention to detail was bringing them all the way up back here. You can see we did purple. These are dual revs. So that when he's pulling his trailer, he can light the front of his trailer up. The other question I get is when you run these dual revs on the back of your sleeper, why is it so expensive to put them on there? Is because we pretty much have to gut the sleeper to run the wiring. There's additional wiring that's required to change them over to red. And so he's just going to run them purple for now. And he may opt to put that in later. Then uh, Brian wanted to paint this out of our upfit shop. Mad Dog. Brian Mad Dog. And, uh, and then Adid decided to go ahead and paint the the def tank. We have we have the capabilities to paint def tanks to paint plastic and, and make it stick real well. So our outfit shop here in Denver has done real good. Hodge built half fenders, deep drop. These are not blind mount. Um, I got the airbags dropped right now, but even when they're aired up, they look really cool. They look like they're really snug down to the tires. They will not touch the steering or the uh, tra the suspension stops will hit before it even touches that fender so Brian really made it a key piece this one has front rear diff locks inner axle locks not full lockers we, we were going to put some flush mount painted deck plating on here. I think that's a project for down the road, maybe a T-bar, but I think it would have really offset this red a little bit more. And it'll look pretty sharp. You can see here, I, I left the lights on so you could see a little bit on the blind side, the less sunny side of the truck, how nicely all them shine down lights work. But that, those blind mount hood latches, a gentleman came from Ohio and had those on his truck and I just, I thought they were really cool. It's almost necessary if you put uh, um, large blanks or watermelon lights on the front of your truck because it'll interfere with that latch. And I got something else inside the cab that you guys are gonna be interested in. You don't see a whole heck of a lot of them, but Here's our dump valve kit for the front suspension. And of course, uh, in the original video, I show the 565, 2050 torque, 18 speed, 336 rears. Let's see where that blind mount latch system looks right there. You just gotta reach under and undo it. We did simple step covers over the battery box and the def box. Another nice little styling cue we did here was we painted the back sides of the visor and the brackets to match the frame. I'm going to go ahead and raise the suspension up here. Fall 15 gauges. See that in the original video. So I've had a lot of inquiries about the Iowa Customs fridge kit now. So on this truck we did the cut the microwave fridge kit combination. And so it comes with an inverter. Um, the routing of the inverter and the um, plug-in for the microwave is a little bit tricky in a 389. I just want to come back here so you can see. It's got a nice 
steel drawer on the bottom. maggots out of a used truck once. Not a cool experience. There's your microwave. It's got a turntable and everything in it. So for those of you guys, this one has the the trim pieces that were and now you can do this kit in both sides of the truck. So he lost his closet. Um, he kept his desk space. So if you want to put it on the passenger side, you're gonna lose you're gonna lose your desk. But outside of that, uh, I'm gonna jump back out so you can see the truck aired up. So there she is, fully aired up. And you can kind of look at the back fenders and see clearance when she sits. Really turned out nice, guys. We appreciate you watching. Indeed. Congratulations on your new purchase, brother. Thank you very much. There's your keys. Thank you for doing Gabriel. business with us. I'm so happy, man. Um, it's been a fun project for all of us. Uh, been at Chrome Country, all them guys down there, supplying all of us the parts. All the hard work here at our outfit shop here in Denver, Colorado. Appreciate y'all doing your work. Ryan, Mad Dog, um, Speedway Graphics, all you guys who contribute to these trucks. You make them look really cool and we sure appreciate you if you like these videos guys go ahead and click in the button in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe love to have you if you'd like for me to build you a custom truck give me a call 970-518-5520 you can also contact me at wyattj at rushenterprises.com have a safe end of your year guys thank you It's always fun to see the reaction when these when you guys come in for the first time to see your truck. Just picked up a date from 